Good morning and welcome to day six of our Colorado Trail adventure. Uh, we are leaving the campsite that we slept at last night. Um, I put the air quotations because if you can see, uh, we slept at an abandoned World War II bunker uh, with a bunch of jail cell, basically, uh, spaces. And so it was really raining hard last night, lightning, thunder, and, uh, <laughs> and we had to uh, just sort of make do with what we had. And we came across this and we thought, hey, what better spot to get dry at? And of course we woke up and all our stuff is dry and got the dryer closed, so that was really cool. Uh, what we had to avoid though was the bird holes and the chipmunk holes. So we filled those with rocks and set our tents up inside the little room and tarps down. The tarps were really good at um, putting a space between us and the chipmunk poops. <laughs> we're camping, baby. All right, so we're off. Uh, we are going to Tennessee Pass and we've got about a 14 mile day today and it's gonna be great. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Good morning. Hello. So we're finishing up section eight, get the last 10 miles here. And this is highway 24, I guess, that we just crossed. Yeah, you can see that it's much cooler today. Overcast after that long rain yesterday. I think what's going to happen is this is kind of the clearing out of the front. And tomorrow we're going to get some, some extended sunshine for the rest of the week. Or I could be wrong. Meteorologist Scott. <laughs> I could be just completely wrong. Real fast. We got a team trail name. Oh, Rad. Yes, good, good memory. Uh, Rad for Ryan and Dad. <laughs> so. Yeah, that was uh, Carly, another hiker. Mm -hmm. so We've mentioned Carly a few times. She was thinking of us and came up with rad. Uh, turned on here because, well, we've been in forest most of the time, and this is a nice open meadow, but uh, we don't often cross railroad tracks. And I love trains. I love pine forests. <laughs> uh, but I thought this would be kind of cool to film. I, this is my first time crossing a train track. You know, where, where did we do that? Uh, yep. Uh, I want to say it was somewhere in Indiana. I guess we have crossed train tracks before. We did once. Um, yeah. Oh, well. well. This is the first one on the CT. I was thinking, uh, yeah, Indiana, northern Indiana. Yep. One of those hikes. So we're carrying on. We are. Today's hike doesn't have a lot of ups and downs. It's just kind of flat between, well, we started at 9.3, I think, 9,300 feet. But mostly we're going to be going between 10 and 10.4, 10.4, which I think we're fairly close to now. It's going to be the Tennessee Pass. Yeah, well, it's the Tennessee Pass, right? A lot of it's just straightforward 14-mile day. All right. Yeah. Catch you guys probably at the pass. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, just a lot of traffic. We're at the trailhead for segment nine on the Colorado Trail. And it looks like we are heading into the San Isabel National Forest and heading towards the Tennessee Pass. This is the Tennessee Pass. All right, in, we are in the Tennessee Pass. Yes, this is it. Right there, 10,424 feet. We are on the Continental Divide. We, of course, have been sharing the trail, the CT and CDT, for, I guess, close to 300 miles over the whole thing. We're sharing it, you know, for the rest of ours. And uh, the bunkers who spent the night, this 10th Mountain Division Memorial uh, is up here. But uh, my understanding is that's who stayed in the bunkers. And, the bunkers uh, we stayed in last night. The bunkers that we stayed in, yeah. We'll read more real quick on the plaque. But we're halfway done for today. It's seven miles to here from where we slept. And then seven more miles to the next campsite. That's all I got. My eyes are kind of blurry. All right. 
Yeah, See you this, guys. Is, this is not all passes are made the same. This is not as exciting as <laughs> no. the Kokomo Pass. All right. All right. See you.